Hey everybody, I'm here at the new Cheyenne Regional Airport Terminal. It's actually pretty nice inside. It doesn't officially open until November, but as soon as they do get everything up and ready for you, you'll be able to see all the furniture inside. There's already people in here taking a tour. A lot of work that's got to be completed yet, but I think people are going to be impressed by the um, building itself. It's going to be usable, I, and I've looked at the signage and said, well, when I come up here now, I know where I need to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Small and efficient. Small and efficient, most definitely. If you want to know where you're going to be felt up, uh, patted down, uh, inspected by the TSA, that's right in this room right here. And then from this room, after you get through with the TSA, they'll take you around to the other side where you wait for your airplane. Uh, bathroom facilities all over the place, of course. I don't see any furniture here, so when does all of that arrive? So it'll all start arriving in the next two weeks as we fill up the terminal, and we're excited about that as well as all the walls will be decorated with the artwork and so forth. We just wanted the uh, public to have a chance to see what it looks like before it's done so they can see yeah. just how beautiful the construction and the architecture is. But where this is right now is where the American Airlines ticket counter will be. And then we have two other ticket counters for our, uh, our charter flights that'll be coming in. And unlike the old terminal where we had to do everything by hand, yeah. now once you check in your ticket here, you just put it on here, yeah. the conveyor belt starts up, it goes around this secured room, so it'll go through an x-ray machine that'll be placed over here so that we can see all of what's in the baggage, okay. and then there'll be a table here in case we have to pull any of the baggage off. And then once the baggage is cleared through TSA, it'll come right back here into this room, and it'll be loaded up on the carts. And then we'll take it right out to the aircraft. Now, I think since, since it's a small airport, there's not much of a chance of anything getting lost. Well, no, it's no. not going to be like the baggage no. system from DIA. No, no. So here's an airport board member if you'd oh. like to speak to him. Yes. This is Pete Illoway. He's been on the airport board for quite a long time, and I'm pretty sure he's happy with the turnout today, too. I think it looks good. Yeah. Pretty good. A lot more than you expected then. Do you realize that this is about the same square footage is the old one it just laid out better yeah lay, oh now you think laid out better so it looks like it's got a nice flow over here so but oh. i don't see a whole lot of them the other place have well, like a restaurant in it stuff like that yeah. we'll have a restaurant in oh, this yeah. Yeah. okay and where's that going to be at? down the, down down the, down the hall down ways the hall? okay so it's coming along it's coming you know along. rome wasn't built in a day no. and no. it's <laughs> taken us a while to do this so the official opening will be when what's that date well, I don't know that we're going to call it an official opening, but the very first Randy, flight that comes in will be November 4th. On the other side over here, though, is where people will get dropped off. There's uh, bathroom facilities over here coming down the hallway. And then a little bit further down, you'll see the baggage claim. I am trying to arrange a ride on the baggage pickup conveyor belt. They laughed. They said they would think about it. I'm really trying to talk them into getting a ride on the baggage claim conveyor belt. So I'd right say here. actively about 10 years, yeah. and it seems like a long slog, but we're finally here, and that's that's the main thing. Well, so. Now, what's the hardest part of that? Is it getting all the financing together, or what's the hardest part? That's a huge part of it is the financing uh, and getting the public support again, because we honestly, over the years, it had some issue, and issues, as you know, with uh, uh, flight out of here and in here and that sort of thing, and we lost airlines, and, and we just had all kinds of things that happened. But the economy was kind of the, one of the, the more difficult sides of it, and it's difficult to raise money when you've, uh, you did, you just start building for the future, so to speak. What about bringing the airline in? That must have been quite a task. It's a task, uh, particularly when you follow up uh, uh, some sour taste, you might say, about that issue before. But we, we worked and had a group that we formed called Craft that uh, came together, brought the community together, showed a real need for that for the capital city and for the region. And uh, we were able to, to uh, have a American Airlines come in here, SkyWest, and uh, we're looking forward to their being here on November 4th of that Dallas Fort Worth. Okay, so now uh, we, we start with that. Any odds of uh, getting another airline in or expanding the facility? I think so, yes. We have the, the facility, the way it's currently built, can handle three airlines. And uh, we've got the ability to expand not only the terminal itself, but the parking and everything else around there. We designed it that way. And we hope we have that need in the future. I think that once an airline is established in here, 
and other uh, carriers take a look at it, that they'll be a little more interested in Cheyenne. So once you get out, get your bags, you would then come over here if you needed a rent-a-car. And there's all the facilities for the rent-a-car, and the rent-a-car, they're gonna be right out back this way over here. So there you go, there's the whole facility.